he was stricken. So it's time for us to share the afikomen. Some people will tell you that it means dessert because it's a Greek word. Afikomen is a Greek word that means that which comes after, right? So some would say, oh, it's the, th it's the thing you eat after the meal, it's the dessert. Well, it is the final food eaten at the Passover. But we know that the afikomen represents Yeshua's death when hidden and his resurrection when it's found. You see, this matzah, think of, think of this, the journey that this just went on. This is an unleavened piece of bread. Throughout the scriptures, leaven is used as a symbol of sin. So being unleavened is like, a, is like being sinless. So sinless and perfect. And part of a triunity, three in one together, right? Like Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It was separated from the unity, broken, wrapped in, in like burial clothes, buried, hidden. It was then found and resurrected, right? Brought out from its hiding place. It was redeemed, purchased, and now becomes the most important part of the Seder. Oh, and by the way, the matzah, if you can see, is striped and pierced, just like our Messiah. Messiah Yeshua, the sinless Lamb of God, separated from the unity from the Father, lived a perfect life, died a death he did not deserve, but willingly chose for our sake, striped and pierced for our transgressions, buried and then on the third day, resurrected to new life, so that he could purchase for us new life, so that we could be perfectly atoned for, defeating death, so that by faith in him, we could become children of God. It's a remarkable story that's right here in the Passover Seder. 